let's put some piping on it. And that's what they did. And they said, well, let's use some of that high pressure air that's going through there and augment the thrust. So Kelly said, let's build this. And this comes back and augments the thrust with all these six tubes on it to give it more additional thrust right here. This is an expansion joint for the heat. This little container right here is very unique. Uh, it holds about I say a little bit letter, a little bit less than one liter of a liquid chemical. The liquid chemical in there is very volatile. It's called triethyl boring. Triethyl boring, T E B. We call it TEB for short. Triethyl boring has a characteristic. If I had it, let's say I had a squirt gun right here, and I squirt it out right here, right now, it would go kaboom. It explodes as soon as you expose it to the atmosphere. So when the guys fill that tank, the temp tank, they come out in a suit, everyone's out of the hangars, they look like spacemen and they fill it up. It's inerted with gaseous nitrogen to keep it inert. That is then taken through plumbing to the start sequence. And we take the throttle and go from cutoff to idle during the start. Get rotation, bring the throttle up. As soon as the fuel control line sends the right PSI going to the main fuel control, it's sprayed this meter amount of this temp into the turbine section, which is located about right here, and it would go kaboom, and that's what in turn lit off the JP-7 fuel of this airplane. The fuel of this airplane is a one-of-a-kind JP-7, has a very, very high flash point. It has to because the fuel temperature gets up to 350 to 375. And because of that, Kelly came up with this fuel, normal ignition plugs, igniter plugs, like we have in jet engines. Usually, like when I was with American Airlines, we had all the, all the engines had two igniter plugs back up and just a redundancy. The very high spark plugs, if you will. Put JP7 on them, they just drowned them out. So Kelly said, okay guys, come up with some way to start this, ignite this JP7. And that's what they came up with, a liquid chemical. We had 16 shots on each engine, had a little counter in each throttle. So you, as soon as you start the engine, you go from 16 down to 15. And when you like the afterburner, they go from 15 down to 14. So you kept track numerically on this little counter. It was a, just a mechanical counter. Click them off. 16 shots per engine, they get a start. Moving on back here, these are doors very similar to those. These are just, we call them suck in doors. They just sort of, as, as you go along, they just sort of open and modulate, just like I'm doing right here. There's, there's no other means on them. There's hinged right here. And they try additional cooling to this section right here, which is the aftermarket section. That's what it's all about. This engine's located pretty close to where it would be actually in the airplane. If you just lift it up and put it in there, and that's where it would be. And a lot of people say, how do you